Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I think we fixed this. Well, for the time being anyways, until the new hardware shows up, we're going to call this fixed. Um, <clears throat> we are in war. We are against what appears to be a pretty tough looking alliance. And we are doing kind of a sell strategy. It is new to us. So, we have four attacks in with uh, 11 out of... 11, we have 11 stars with 4 out of 50 attacks. Oh, and they have got 45 stars with 9 out of 50 attacks, which is perfect. Um, so, with that being said, I am ranked 9th this war. However, upon scouting, I discovered that it may be easier, in fact, for me to go for this 159 Global that's right here. So, let's see. We're going to start my little drawing tool and we'll see if we can't walk you guys through this. Maybe. If it allows us to. There we go. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't help. So, my draw point is going to be up here. Uh, and the hope is that I want to break through this little wall right here because I want to actually run my, I believe I'm going to go with my Sabotage, Sabotage 1, in order to get these four buildings here. That's the hope. Um, and then I might, in fact, have to go with another Sabotage, but I've only got two. I'd like to save that second one for these three level 10 generals that are here. Um, and then my Blitzkrieg is going to go probably somewhere close to here as soon as we actually see these popping. My rally point is going to be right in there. So, to run that by you again, we've got a drop up here. We've got a sab here. We've got a rally right there. And we've got a Blitzkrieg somewhere in there. And that's how it's going to go. Uh, immediately preceding that, we're going to probably back off and try and work our way around this base as best as we can. There's a couple of sniper towers, plus there's Versailles. We want to therefore be working our way around this way. So we want to avoid Versailles. We're going to be dropping some planes in to order to take out the air defense that's there. There is two air defense. There's another one right up here. Uh, so we're hoping that we can actually plane both of those. This one up here, a little bit more scary because there is, or sorry, sniper towers is what we want to take out. There's two air defense here. Um, the reason I picked this as far as a rally point is, like I said, I want to go through that wall there. So my drop point's going to be up here. Uh, that will allow me to take out, I believe, Town Center, Fort, and these two mortars, as well as this big fat bunker. Um, and hopefully, we'll be able to uh, make it all the way around. I've got a bit more of a stout army, as you'll probably see here in a moment, but we'll walk through it. Let's see how we get on. And you'll notice that we're logoless. Logo lo logoless. Logoless. Because we're not called the Outlaws anymore. We are the Last Outlaws. We currently have a looting competition going on, uh, inspired by Great One. Um, so, I have changed our logo or our emblem to be a pink unicorn. If you're looking for us, that's who we are. We're the pink unicorns. Everybody's a pink unicorn. And I love my pink unicorns. Um, so, for the course of the week, we will be submitting all of our best loots. Uh, by Saturday, we will be picking a winner, and it's gold only. The highest gold winner will be picking what our flag is up here. Um, so I'm kind of I'm I'm excited about that. I think that's kind of fun. We're not going to let Marla participate though, because uh, she's gone to a different alliance. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We'll let you play too. Fine. Uh, 
that looks good. We have got uh, three triplanes, three shock infantry, 30 riflemen, two heavy tanks, three supply trucks, seven artillery, uh, two heavy gats. My mercs, I'm going with the Gurkhas. A little bit of extra firepower there, uh, plus my two heavy flampanzers. I've got my Blitzkrieg, two Betrayal, one Protect, and two Sabotage. Generals, we're going with uh, Joan and Nobunaga. Alliance troops, I've got a big monstrous howitzer, two of those. Uh, a couple of Righteous Riflemen, and some Black Watch. We'll verify that we are actually on seven, and let's take it away. Deep breath. Deep breath. Let's go that, 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 that. Somebody take that out. Ah, get off of those. Where do we want to go here? I'll at least get everybody close, right? Take it out. Okay, get everybody up here. Get out of there then. If you're not going to do what you're supposed to. I need you. Hopefully we can get some fancy footwork with the two planes I've got left going. Um, I would like to try and keep all of my guys together, including my one lone healing cart that's hanging out. Uh, it's just going to be a matter of do I have enough firepower to make this through and can I use my planes appropriately in order to save my guys. That's really what it's going to come down to. One minute remaining here. Got some heavy stuff going on, so. Oh, I wish I had another betrayal. That is a very nice looking tank. There we go. 30 seconds remaining. Um, let's see. We should be able to go there. Get those two guys there. And there we go. That's a close one. 17 seconds remaining. Um, but we did manage to actually pull that off. There's some heavy lo losses. I did not anticipate my troops would end up going in the middle of that kill box uh, didn't make me very happy I really did want to get them pulled out but uh, still I'm satisfied with the results five stars is always nice to see um, oof, that's some heavy heavy losses though I think maybe that's just my opinion <clears throat> and there it is we'll go ahead and retrain if you enjoyed this video, 
be sure to click like and subscribe down below. And as always, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.